It used to be that Google Plus was really hard to use for business. But now Google My Business has really gone through some changes that make it really robust for your business use. So it's time for you to revisit the platform and I've got a few tips for you right in time for the holidays. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that your business has been claimed and verified. Just go to google.com slash business, follow the instructions. It's very possible that if you have never set up a Google My Business profile, there may still be one there for your company and it may have outdated or incorrect information. You wanna be sure you go in and claim that listing and after claiming it, you wanna actually verify, which in most cases requires a postcard with a pin code on it to be mailed to your physical business and then you enter that information in their platform. As you're setting up your listing or reviewing it, which as we mentioned in our last episode, it's a really good time of year to do that before all of the holiday shopping is in full force. You wanna make sure that your NAP information, name, address, phone is accurate and that it's consistent across all of your listings that you can find online. Choosing your business category and your company attributes, these are two places where you can use keywords carefully. You don't want to stuff. You want it to be a natural use of keywords appropriate for your business and company attributes that may show up under your listing, such as do you have Wi-Fi? These are great places to differentiate your business, so be sure that you consider those two portions of your profile carefully. Obviously, profile picture, you can also do a cover photo and a video. I always recommend that your profile picture be very consistent across all of your online listings. If you use a logo, use it across all of them. If you're a solo entrepreneur and you're using your headshot, use it across all of them. You can use a slightly different version, maybe a slightly different pose or the crop is slightly different, but for the most part, again, it's that repetition and people seeing the same thing. It almost becomes branding like the golden arches. If the arches looked different or there was only one arch, it wouldn't have the same impact. So the profile image, keep it the same across all of the platforms. The cover image, you have a little bit root to play with and you can target that a little bit better based upon the demographics of the each individual platform. And then of course a video, Google loves videos. And so if you have one, it's a great place to put it. It doesn't have to be exactly about your business. It could be even a video you've done about one of your products or services. If you've had customer generated content, it would be a great opportunity to put that there. Once you have your profile going, you want to ask for reviews. And this scares a lot of my clients because you never know what a customer is going to say. Even if you think the customer is happy today with whatever widget they bought or whatever service you provided, 24 hours from now, maybe they dropped the widget from, you know, a fifth story window and it broke. And so now they're unhappy. You kind of never know what the actual review is going to be. But I have some tips on how to make that happen. Those tips are going to be in an upcoming episode, so you don't wanna miss that episode. Be sure you ask for those reviews, and as you get reviews, respond to every one of them, even the good ones, especially the negative ones. Respond to them all, be very friendly, very polite, very professional. Also use Google My Business's built-in messaging platform. It's one of the newer features that not everyone knows or realizes is there. If you go to your listing, google.com slash business, and on your home page in the left column, there is a messaging tab. If you click on that, it will tell you if it's not available for your profile for some reason. For the most part, uh, most companies in the US, it probably is, and it will tell you how you can take advantage of that. In most cases, you're going to be installing an app on your phone where customers will be able to message you directly through your profile and you'll be able to respond. That's huge. It's quick and immediate messaging right where your clients already are and you want to take advantage of that. 
if you're going to be using it for the holidays, you can toggle it off if you think it will be too overwhelming, but make sure that you check and respond to those messages as often as you can, as quickly as you can, so that your prospects are getting a good turnaround time. One of the best things you can do is add posts to your profile. Google will let you add text, photos, GIFs, call to action buttons. You can add offers and products and you can showcase all of these. Your call to action buttons can include things like buy, sign up, learn more, get offer. The nice thing when you strategically use these pieces, especially the offers, and we've tested this with several clients. Say you sell apples and your competitor down the road sells apples. And I search on Google for apples and it pulls up in the map, in the map listing, and I see business here that sells apples and the one down the road that sells apples. If I, am, as a company, have gone into my Google My Business listing and added a special offer, such as maybe a deal, buy two bushels and get one free, that can actually show up right under your listing. So if I'm looking at the two listings and I see right there immediately in my search that this one has a special two bushels, get one free, I need three bushels, I'm not even going to bother with the person down the street. I'm gonna come visit you or pick up the phone and call you. So these posts and these offers, again, Google prefers their own products. So if you're putting this information and adding it to Google My Business, you can get a lot of traction with only putting in the same amount of work or even less than you might have put in somewhere else. Also, once you have your profile going well, you wanna use Google My Business's built-in insights and find out things like how customers are finding your business, where they're finding it, are they doing just a search, did they find it on maps, have they taken any action on your listing, such as clicking on directions or looking at the photos? And if you use their built-in call tracking, you can find out how many phone calls you got from your listing and what times people were calling. All of this is great information to help you keep improving your online presence. I recommend you right now take the opportunity to visit google.com business and make sure that you've claimed your profile, you've verified it, and that you've updated your NAP information, name, address, phone, as well as create a couple of posts, create an offer as appropriate, and these will go a long way into helping your business be found and be chosen after it's found when your prospects search for your products or services on Google. As always, if you have any marketing questions, you can drop them down below or visit the website vickywoo.us. You can just Google vickywoo marketing guru and find our website and ask them there. We will try to answer your question directly or we may use your question on an upcoming episode. While you're here, check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss the latest marketing tips.